Hi, my name is Anthony and I have been asked the question, why is my dog vomiting? Now this dog had gotten into the garbage can and eaten some trash he shouldn't have and as a result has been vomiting non-stop. Now his owner would like to know why exactly is he vomiting. So first of all, vomiting is actually a complex reflex event that can be caused by a number of different things such as pancreatitis, renal failure, viral or bacterial illnesses, dietary indiscretions and gastrointestinal obstructions or diseases as well. In this instance, it is most likely the dog had eaten something he shouldn't have and as a result, a dietary indiscretion has occurred. So, vomiting in dogs is actually controlled by a cluster of brainstem nuclei that are collectively referred to as the emetic center. This can be found at the hindbrain of the dog and it is where all vomiting stimuli ultimately converge. So now we're just going to have a look at these structures in much more detail. The emetic center along with the CTZ which is the chemoreceptor trigger zone are two important players in the response of vomiting in dogs. So first of all the emetic center is where all vomiting stimuli ultimately converge and there are two different pathways these stimuli can travel to the emetic center, either centrally or peripherally. Now, centrally, vomiting stimuli can come from higher brain regions to the emetic center and initiate vomiting. This could be things such as tastes or smells that could trigger the vomiting reflex automatically. Another way is peripherally, where Peripherally, either directly stimuli can travel to the emetic center from, say, the gastrointestinal tract, directly via neural afferents or vagal nerves to the emetic center, or indirectly from the periphery via the CTZ, or the chemoreceptor trigger zone. So, for example, if there has been a toxin in the bloodstream that has entered the circulation, the chemoreceptor trigger zone is capable of detecting these circulating toxins since the blood-brain barrier at the CTZ and bloodstream interface is much more permeable and allows for such toxins and ions etc. to freely diffuse past the membrane and be detected by the CTZ which can then be transferred to this signal can be sent to the emetic center and the vomiting could occur. Now to go a little bit more in detail, there are particular receptors that could be found at the emetic center. These receptors include the NK1 receptors. So once, for example, a dietary indiscretion has been identified or has begun in the gastrointestinal tract, various neurotransmitters such as substance P would, become, would get released from the gastrointestinal tract and find their way to the emetic center where they would bind with the NK1 receptors. This binding then initiates the cascade of events which would lead to the physiological signs of vomiting such as increased heart rate, increased rapid breathing and, and constriction of the diaphragm to allow for the expulsion of vomitus. Now in regards to the treatment of vomiting, there are multiple drugs which are collectively referred to as the anti-emetics that are used in the treatment of vomiting. One of the most commonly used anti-emetic in veterinary practice are known as the NK1 receptor antagonists. These NK1 receptor antagonists are useful as they have a strong affinity of binding to the NK1 receptors at both the emetic center and at the CTZ. So once these drugs are administered, they can find their way to the NK1 receptors and as a result block any receptor neurotransmitter binding of the substance P neurotransmitters. So once there is, for example, a dietary indiscretion and the neurotransmitters are released from the gastrointestinal tract, they wouldn't be able to bind and as a result, they, the cascade of events leading to vomiting would not occur and vomiting would be prevented, which is what you want to happen if the vomiting is excessive and inappropriate.
Vomiting impulses are caused by a number of underlying conditions. It is most likely in this instance that a dietary indiscretion was caused by the eating of the garbage. Signals to vomit ultimately converge on the emetic center. This is the structure of the hindbrain that is involved in the vomiting reflex. And lastly, neurotransmitters bind receptors at the emetic center, such as NK1, in order to trigger the vomiting event.